Hello there. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to walk through a tutorial on how to deploy an Angular project on Netlify. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. Netlify is an excellent platform that not only provides continuous deployment from Git repositories but also offers an array of features for front-end developers and Angular as many of you know is a robust front-end framework for building web applications. Let's start with an Angular project that you have built and ready for deployment. If you don't have one, you can create a sample project using Angular CLI. To create a new Angular project, you can run command ng-new and then you can provide the name of your project. You have to open the terminal like this and then type ng-new and then you will provide the project name whatever you want. So in my case, I already have an Angular project that I have generated so I can use this project. After creating your project, you will need to build it for production. So navigate into your project directory and run the build command. So open the terminal in your project and then run this command ng build and press enter. Alright, this command uh, will create a dist directory in your project which contains the output of the build. So for example, if you scroll up, there you will find the dist folder. So this is the subfolder in that folder and this is the, these are the files that you need to deploy. Now let's move over to Netlify. If you don't have any Netlify account yet, then go ahead and create one. It's free for basic usage. So I will open the Netlify website and then I will click on the sign up button because I don't have any account yet. So now click on sign up with GitHub. You can use any other, you can also use email as well if you want to sign up. Now click on the authorize button that will give it access to your repositories on your GitHub account. Now you will have to give some answers to these questions. I will use personal or whatever you want to select. And here you can use the project name. I will check and click on the continue to deploy now uh, there are a few options that you can see it is saying that either you can connect any of these git accounts or you can use netlify drop feature or you can choose a template we will use the uh, Netlify drop feature so click on that so here you just have to open the folder that you want to copy paste so reveal in finder will open it so we need to drop the entire folder it will take it a uh, time depending upon the size of your project once it is done it will give you the successful message deploy success and now if you click on the get started button then on this page you will see all of this information and under the sites section you can visit your website so click on that and from here this is the unique url that was generated for your website if you click on that then you will notice that the application was deployed and see the same login page is also visible there so other than that in the netlify you can also open the site setting here you can see a lot of uh, information you can create environment variables as well if needed also in the build and deploy section you can connect it with the <clears throat> github repository as well so for example i instead of uh, building it manually if you link our github repository then it will automatically uh, deploy the changes whenever you push your changes to the github repository so let us link the repository i will link the github repository click on the github and click on the authorize netlify now you need to configure netlify on github as well so with that you have to select the organization that you want to link you just create it after you have connected your <coughs> repository then you will see all of the repositories that you have connected so far with your account so if you click on this you will be able to connect it it will show all of the branches in your repository and here you can specify that which directory you want it to consider to build and this is the command that it will use to build the 
application and here you can specify that uh, in which folder it should find the project file i want to specify it should be in the test slash login folder like it is in my project folder build so now if you click on the deploy site it will be deployed with the help of the github repository now you can see that in production deploys uh, it, the status is building if you click on that you can observe it uh, it is being built meanwhile if i make any change in my application and if i commit that you will see that change as well so i made this little change that i will commit now and let's see what happened In the site section you will see another build has been started and it is in progress you can monitor that as well so after some time it would be built as well you can edit your site name as well right now it has generated a unique name for you uh, but if you don't like it if you want to make a change you can add a custom domain or you can edit the subdomain of Netlify as well so click on the edit site name and from here you can use whatever name you want to use for example and click on the save button now this is your new domain name of your website so let's look at the deployment status if that is done then we will test it so i think it is deployed on this url you will see this change is also deployed on this new domain name that's it you have successfully deployed your angular project on netlify you can now access your web application from anywhere using the provided url i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you have any question or run into any issues feel free to leave a comment below and we will do our best to assist you if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, happy coding.